you can see that this hinge has let go completely. Today I'm fixing this aluminum storm door, which is about six years old and costs about $300. I'm going to be fixing it with about four dollars in brass acorn nuts. Originally the door had plastic washers which have worn down and has now even ground down some of the aluminum hinge. Uh, this has caused a sag and the door no longer seals or latches properly. These are the main tools I needed. My first step will be to disconnect the hydraulic door closer and to take the door itself off of the hinges. Now I've propped the door open which exposes the hinges and wedge some wood underneath just to hold it so that it doesn't drop when I remove the screws from the hinges. Next I'll remove the hinge portion of the frame. Pop off the screw cover on the outside. I want to reuse that. So now to remove this hinge, we look at the broken part. See this is the part that's worn down. This washer and collar used to sit in there just like here and that washer part wore down and it's right there so what we're going to do is just push that back and inside loaded with a spring is a part like this you can see you can see the pin right there so we just need to go in from behind so we just push the pin forward and pop the hinge out and there you can see all well, this ends in bad shape that should just slide out you can see what we've got so now I'll just file this damaged part so that it's flush. So you can see that with this half inch acorn nut, the threads are about the right uh, diameter this can fit in nicely. I just need to leave about five millimeters of, of this end, of the hex end. Since we're using brass here, I just want to remind you that anything other than naval brass can have a lead content of up to 2%, so you want to wear proper PPE. At the very least, eye protection and uh, respiratory protection. You can use a bench grinder or an angle grinder. Do a little mock-up to test it. The washer insert that's still in good shape will go in. The hinge goes back on and then that spacer that we made out of brass is going to go there. 
And of course this spring loaded pins will be will be in there too. So that'll all go in like that. Before I try to put this hinge back in, I want to take that broken insert, the one where the washer wore off, and it slipped down inside. That's the one that we backed off in order to pop the pop the hinge out. So I want to take that, move it back up in place, because that's so it's in place now. It's right here, it's flush. That's where this pin is going to go in. Now there's not a lot of pin there and that that insert can move down now which would cause this give this some play so if there's too much of a gap then there's an alternate where you put a, a rod a 3 16 rod all the way up in the back side of this hinge. So the washer insert goes in Try to put this pin in first. Back that off. There you go. So you'll just do that for the broken hinges. In this case, it's all four. And then we'll put it back up. Now you can see from these wear marks where it used to strike, you can see it's up about four or five millimeters, same distance as the brass spacers. And now it latches, everything lines up again.